And now part two of the Dual Arena, or episode two, rather, of the Dual Arena reboot. Good fractured Destiny. Ah, crap! You fractured my destiny! A name that has become infamous for the desolate environment found far beneath the streets of major cities. Oh, so it's an underground Outside arena. the Empire's sort realm of. of influence, many miscreants fight for their very survival. Rejecting Emperor Valtor, they are cast out from society, and a new kingdom has been born from their struggle. Powerful crime Fan theory. I wonder if this is the same place that uh, amuse the crowd, where the people who fought Valtor in that one episode with the guy with Shinado and Prez voice actor, you know? I think it was like 39 those or something like inside, that, 39, 38, however, the poor guys for Valtor. Nature when he just obliterated all of them. Of money are wagered on every match. While the lords of the abyss fight their political wars, amassing their great fortunes. The duelists themselves struggle to buy enough food to survive. With little choice, the competitors duel in these all-or-nothing cage matches. For duelists like Zeke Elmstone, the stakes have never been higher. He, like so many others, faces the same question. What are you willing to do in order to survive for one more day? What are you willing to do to win in a children's car? So, you are to be my opponent then. Bud for bread. How many hey! Times will you I take offense to that. You must be Derek. I hear you've accumulated quite an impressive record for yourself. But you are not the only duelist here who needs to win. I'm going to defeat you. No matter what. Defy me if you wish. The outcome will be the same as the others. We'll see about that. It's, it's time, time to, to duel. duel! As the reigning victor this evening. I will take the first move. Of course. I think I'll just set this monster in defensive mode. That's all. Who do you think you are? Me? That's fine by me. I draw. I'll summon this card. Sonic Bird. Using its effect, I can add advanced ritual art to my hand. Next, I'll activate this. Zara Ritual. Ooh. By using the Ritual Raven in my hand, it can serve as the entire tribute. So I'll ritual. Ah, finally, someone uses Zero Ritual Raven. Ha! Ritual monsters. That card is so sooner than I thought. Specific. Knows they're worthless. If there were like Battle. it kind of makes you wish there were more good ritual Attack dark decks just so we see my play, because it's so Double useful. Claw. Ha! My set monster is Pyramid Turtle. By destroying it, I can summon a new zombie from my deck. Mm -hmm. I choose Mizuki. Five. Zombies, this can be a bit of a problem, especially when you're using a ritual deck that isn't, you know, I'll summon the tuner monster, the broken one. Now I can tune Plague Spreader Zombie with Mizuki. Synchro Summon, Doom Kaiser Dragon. Mm. You talk a big game, but that monster is no match for Zero the Mont. No matter. Battle, Doom Kaiser Dragon. Attack his Sonic Bird. Noxious fumes. Pretty good. But destroying my weaker monster has only triggered my trap card. Michizure! Nice. Since my monster was destroyed, I can take out your Doom Kaiser Dragon. Impossible! What a troublesome pest you are. Fine. I'll set one card. That will be enough for a duelist like you. Hmm. I'm going to prove I'm not the weak duelist you think I am. My turn! I'll summon Jin, Presider of Rituals. Now I'm sure I can. You should be exactly 4,000 damage because the Jin is 1,200 attack. Torrential tribute. Duh. This trap crushes every monster on the field. Oh no! I don't have any ritual monsters in my hand. My advanced ritual art is useless right now. I end my turn. Ha! Just like I predicted. All your plans halted from one. Trap card. Well, so are yours, to be Draw. fair. I activate the field spell. Zombie world. Mm. That card. It causes every monster in our graveyards to become zombie type. Also, you can't tribute except for... Now we can't tribute for tribute something except for Zet. Unless you're summoning a zombie monster. My graveyard to summon back my Doom Kaiser Dragon. Now, 
I can use its effect. I think there's something with when Super Summon, but I don't know I for sure, so it could be possible when Special Summon. Come forth, Zera the Man. <laughs> no. Because of his torrential tribute, I don't have any monsters to protect my life points. Nor do you have any face stats. <laughs> I have plenty of powerful cards, but it looks like this will be all I need to secure my victory. I notice when their Kaiser mouths Dragon. are closed and when Attack they speak, the eyes change. Ah! This keeps up. I'll lose. Know your place, fool. You never had any chance of winning from the start. I'll eliminate you with your own pathetic monster, Zera the Mat. I guess you win. How, do, how pathetic can it be? Not so fast. What? But you don't have any cards on the field. But in my you hand. You underestimate me, Derek. Spear Karibo? I discard Spear Karibo yep. from my hand to use it's a ritual effect. deck. Zero the Mont now switches to defense position. Interesting. So you did have something after all. No Want to save it for the weaker you monster. You only have it's 600 life points remaining. And the only card left in your hand is that worthless ritual card. I'll set a monster in defense like a ritual monster. and one card face down. Make your last move. You're not the only one fighting to survive here. This isn't over yet. I draw! Just give up. There's nothing you can do. Are you sure? What? I activate my advanced ritual art. Nice. You actually managed to draw another ritual monster? He hard drew yes. into it. I'll send the level 7 Seiya Ryu from my deck to the graveyard. Now I can ritual summon this card. Golendorf, King of Destruction! Oh my. I don't believe this. As long as I have life points left, I refuse to give up to the likes of you. Nice. I activate Garlandorf's special ability. When he's ritual summoned, he destroys all other face-up monsters with defense points lower than his attack point. Impossible! For each monster destroyed by this effect, Garlandorf gains 100 attack points. Mm. Now, battle Garlandorf! Attack his set monster! Forbidden Rampage! Look at all the smoke on the ground no, around is about. My beast of the Pharaoh! The tide has turned, Derek. What will you do now? Don't get ahead of yourself. Your life points are dwindling. And I can win this duel easily. I draw. I summon Paladin of the Cursed Dragon from my hand. How is that going to help? Using its effect, I can special summon the Sonic Bird from your graveyard. Mm, that's how. I had to destroy one of the monsters in order to that do that effect. Do you any good. Oh, really? I play double summon. Mm. Now I contribute both these monsters to summon one of my most powerful servants. My despair from the dark. What? It's even stronger than Garlandol! Not good. Huh. It's over. No, I'll still have five points left. Not yet. Say whatever you wish. But it will not change reality. I still possess all 4,000 of my life points. Meanwhile, you don't have a single card left in your hand. Your situation is hopeless. He's right. I don't have a single card left in my hand. But I'll find a way to win. Up until now, I've survived many dangerous duels. This isn't the first time things seem to be at their worst. And it certainly won't be the last. Here I go, Derek. My turn. Draw a card. I play Card of Demise. I now draw until I have five cards uh, in my and hand. The effect. Next, I summon Manju of the Ten Thousand Hands. Using his effect, I'll choose to add the Mass Beast from my deck. Mass Beast. I'll play this contract with the Abyss. I don't believe it. Another ritual monster? Yep. Using this card, I'll tribute Manju from my field and Jin, presider of rituals, from my graveyard. Ritual summon! Come forth, the masked beast! Next, I play a spell card Mystical Space Typhoon. This will destroy your zombie world. No, no, this is inconceivable. How can this be happening? Time for your share of the pain, Derek. I play the equip spell Junk Barrage! Oh Mask Beast! Attack his despair from the dark now! Curse Staff of Domination! <sighs> no matter. 
It's only a little bit of damage. Not when Not Drunk quite. Fist activates. Due to the effect of Junk Barrage, you also drunk take barrage. damage equal to half of the destroyed monster's attack points. What? The Masked Beast destroyed your monster in battle. So I'll draw a card thanks to my Jin. I'll set two cards and end my turn. Quite impressive. You're a much tougher opponent than I had anticipated. Hmm. But this won't change anything. Your remaining life will fade soon enough. I draw. I'll use Pot of Greed to draw two more cards from my deck. Next, I'll play Fisher. This will destroy your monster. Yeah. I counter with my trap card. Safe zone. Now my monster can't be destroyed by battle or by card effect. Nice. <laughs> I chain my set card. Mystical space. Oh no. Which will banish the equipped monster. And banish your masked beast. Oh no. You have no monsters left to protect you. I play Call of the Mummy. Since I have no monsters on the field, I can special summon this. Red Eyes, Zombie Dragon. But this means... This duel has gone on long enough, Elmstone. Red Eyes, Zombie Dragon. Attack his life points directly. I still have a face corruption. down. I won't give in. I play my second trap card. Soul Resurrection. Nice. This special summons a normal monster from my graveyard in defense mode. Siaru. Appear now! Siaru! Huh. <laughs> if you hadn't destroyed my zombie world, I would have been able to defeat you with your own monster. Mm. No matter. Your field and the zombie dragon would have revived a monster destroyed, end. which would have been Siaru. Even if my chances of winning are 1%, I'll find a way to survive. That's what it means. Now it's out deck a draw card again. Everyone here has nothing. Those who are here aim to steal what little the others have left. I won't suffer the same fate as my family. I will defeat you, Derek. Final turn. <laughs> it looks like we finally agree on something. This is your final turn. I draw. I'll play the spell card. Pre-preparation of right. Oh. I add a ritual monster and a ritual spell to my hand. Worthless. You need another monster to tribute if you want to summon anything. You're wrong. There's exactly one monster. I'll add uh. Black Illusion Ritual and relinquish to my hand. Because the Spear Karibo. Black Illusion Ritual! I already told you, it's impossible to summon anything. It looks like you haven't realized it. I use the effect of Spear Karibo in my graveyard. I can banish it to serve as the other tribute that I need. No, I this can't be. On Spear I will overcome you. Card of my soul, hear my cry. Answer me in this final hour and end this duel. Come forth, relinquished. Now, I activate this effect. He absorbs your monster, gaining its attack and defense points. No, no, this can't be. I, I need the prize. I want to win! No! I want to live! As do I, Derek. As do we all. You have struck down so many others in this eternal battle. But now it's your turn! Relinquished! Attack his life points directly! Illusion Black Magic! No! So we all agree we killed this man, right? Such is the sad tale of the abyss. With his winnings, Zeke was able to sustain himself for the next several days by rationing the food. But he knew he must step into the dueling ring again for the amusement of the crowd, or he would starve. The abyss duelists all know there is no chance for escape. The lords already hold the keys. The only way to survive in this desolate kingdom of shadows is to win. Thanks, Valtor. I'm so glad I voted for you. Sarcasm is obvious. Well, this was a much more back and forth duel than the first episode, wasn't it? <laughs> I find it funny that both this and the original episode too, with the Dark Magician versus Cyber Dragon, said it'd be like, "How can you possibly win with one card?" This. <laughs> the narrator was slightly off. <laughs> oh, the irony. McFarland. I guess uh, Tyler is outsourcing this and stuff like 
he only did some of this, but I guess he's letting other people work on this. But hey, you know what? If he's got his own life to worry about and all this other stuff, if some of the people want to work on it, that's good too. Still, this is a fun little thing. Well, not fun at all because it's very depressing, but that's where Legend of the Night Show. It's so dark and edgy. Very serious about playing these children's card games. Urgh. Eh, that's kind of the consequence of being... <laughs> of, like, coming out of this... Jeez. Revelations is over ten years old. Give or take. Which is just something that's mind-blowing to me. Just the fact this has been going on for so long. So this came out, like, right in the middle of the, uh, their ang angsty phase. So now this is, like... This is where we are. Things are energy and everything's fucked. No, I'm not gonna let you. I'm not gonna make you sit through the rest of the credits. So just call it off here and call it even. Later. <laughs>